Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Box and Outdoors. Uh, today we have a Shop Corals unboxing. This is going to be the Mega Bundle, I think, five, I think. I thought they stopped at four, but anyways, I believe this is number five. They've actually just released a new one, so number six is out. I don't know how many they're going to do, but anyways, you get $100 worth of value for... 30, 39.99 I believe, uh, but yeah, anyway, so, pretty good deal, uh, so anyway, if you spend $50, you get another mystery box that's valued at 30 to $40 in value, uh, and you get a mystery lure that's valued anywhere between 5 to $9, uh, so yeah, so I mean, you might as well just spend the 50 bucks and end up getting $150 worth of value back. I mean, that's one thing I love about Shop Carl's. Uh, they got so many deals going on, and uh, they really knocked it out of the park with the 10-year anniversary. I took uh, advantage of the 10-year anniversary and really racked up on some stuff. I've got a lot of stuff coming. Uh... And y'all will see some of the big surprises I've got coming that I never thought that I would be using, but I will be using just because uh, they were so cheap. So, anyways, here's the box. Let's dig into this. And, uh, like I said, uh, you got the Mega Bundle. Uh... You've got uh, mystery kits that I got for spending 50 bucks for adding a few more baits to it. Because like I said, I thought it was already at $40 anyway. So spend 10 more dollars and get yourself another, like I said, 30 to $40 mystery box is what they claim. Plus a mystery bait and all that stuff. So anyways. Let's dig this stuff out of here. Alright, so yeah, you got the... Let's see, we got a bait in here that ranges from $6.50 to $9.74. And then you got the Coral Surprise Box. And then you got the Mega Mystery Box. And then you got the baits that I bought along with it. So... I'll show you them first. Alright, so here's what they send them in. And to be honest with you, both of them seem really heavy. Uh, wow. <laughs> I don't know what's all in there, but there's some stuff. Alright, so my mystery lure is the Grande Banger. Uh, this is a 3 inch bait, 3 fourths of an ounce, uh, dive 3 to 7 feet. The color is Mondo Shed, which is real funny because I just ordered this color. I really like this color, and I don't have it. In just the regular banger and this is the grande banger so uh that'll be interesting uh I normally don't use uh, I'm assuming this is like a 2.5 I normally stay around the 1.5 range so uh, but yeah so that's my mystery lure pretty cool I like it I can't complain about that the other lure, this is one that I bought, uh, this is, uh, the Mike Buka Bull Shed, uh, three and three-fourth inches long, and this one is in the bluegill pattern. I have it in the bullgill, but I did not have it in the bull shed, so, I got that one, and these weigh half an ounce. If you have never fished a bull shed, you need to. They are unbelievable baits. Bullgills are the same way. I also got a pack of these. I don't have very many of these at all. These are uh, the Guggen Slim Shape Worm. 
this one's in uh, green pumpkin purple, one of my favorite colors. And Guggen did a real good job on their green pumpkin purple, I will say. Probably one of the best green pumpkin purples I've ever seen. Uh, but anyways, here's the Slim Shake Worm. You can see they do one side purple and one side green pumpkin with a little bit of purple mixed in. Most people will kind of like just swirl it in there and it don't look as good. Uh, kind of like, uh, I think Strat King makes the black and blue swirl or something. But anyways, it's kind of the same thing, but I like it better whenever they're just two tones. One side, one color, one side, the other, in my opinion. Uh, this is a nine pack and this one is the six and a half inch worm. Like I said, I have a couple, but not very many. And then I went back and I had to get another one. This is the Mike Buka mullet. I had to get it while it was still on sale. Five and a half inches long. Uh, I'll take this one out of the pack and show it to you. This one is sardine. Uh, to me, it kind of resembles a thread, a thread thin shed. And like I said, uh, the profile of it alone is a long skinny profile. It's a, it's a big manner. It's just like if you go to the store bait store around here we got trot line minnows and that's exactly what it looks like uh we got the rotating hook hangers which i think they should have put on all of them uh you got them big old eyes on there which i think is really cool but hopefully in the future with the the new well i shouldn't say new but Maybe with some, uh, if they come out with a new line of, uh, bull gills and bull sheds with, like, different colors or something, maybe they'll put the hook hangers on them as well. To me, that's just an extra bonus. And it's less worry. You don't have to worry about that fish shaking it off because they get leverage on you. And really, how much more does it cost to add a little swivel? to it so anyways there that is and like I said that's the sardine color I really like it. it's got little spots on it blue so now I have two of those uh, so anyways that's what I bought to add this box up to 50 bucks so I, I could get both of these and like I said both of these are the same weight uh, I can't tell the difference uh, And I don't know which one's which, so, uh, this one feels a little bit heavier, so we'll open this one up first. Uh, this one might be the mystery box, this one might be the mega mystery bundle, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I think this is the bundle. Alright, so first up, right off the bat, I mean, they got this thing, y'all can tell, I mean, this thing is full to the tip top. This one, right off the bat, they give you a, uh, Suzix, Suzix, Supreme, number two, uh, quarter ounce, uh, basically a, a rooster tail. Uh, the color is butterfly. I do like that. Uh, like I said, I'm getting into the, the multi-species stuff. So, that's pretty cool. Next up, we have a Dynamite Spec. Uh, Fishing Innovations. Uh, anyways, it's a little bitty jerk bait, and it looks like it's a clown color. Yeah, a ghost clown dives one to four feet. 
New true red gills are added for extra attraction. Do not slam lure on water. Amazing color combination suitable for many types. Uh, three inches, weighs five sixteenths of an ounce. All right, but it says do not slam on the water. I don't like it because I like to slam mine on the water if it gets green moss and stuff on it. So I don't know if that means this is uh, vulnerable or what or easy to break. I hope not, but definitely like the style of it and the size. The hooks seem to be real sticky sharp. Uh, perfect depth <clears throat> and fall is right around the corner uh, so this should be a good time of the year to be throwing something like this we're gonna be going after them small little bait fish trying to fatten up for the winter time uh, definitely like that uh, that's a company that I haven't heard of before so you know, can't complain with that jerk bait. Next up, we have a Weston's spot on popper floating four inches, weighs half an ounce. Uh, the color of this is Ghost Hunter. Uh, but anyways, it's a uh, popper. Can't ever go wrong with a popper. Uh, Weston makes well-known, you know, they're well-known in the fishing game. They make good products. Uh, their baits are kind of expensive on the expensive side, but, you know, you get what you pay for. Great looking little bait. Definitely got some good colors to it. Got a little bit of rattle to it. Uh, got that oval split ring, little spit cup. Uh, definitely a good looking little bait. I don't see why it won't catch fish. Unless you're like me and you don't catch fish. Uh, but anyways, maybe that'll change once I get out in my boat. I almost got that ready, thank God. Next up, we have some uh, 10,000 fish Yodo worms, tickle tail, three and a half inch. These are the small ones. These are really, really cool. Fire crawl is the color. I don't have this color, so that's even better. Uh, these things can be fished a million different ways. Uh, a lot of people use them on the back of a chatterbait. They do make a really good chatterbait trailer, but you can fish them on a Ned rig, a drop shot. Texas rig, I mean, anything you can think of, you can fish it. Great looking bait. Next up, we have the Guggen's uh, Filthy Frog. This one is in bullfrog color. Two and a half inches, weighs five eighths of an ounce, hollow belly frog. Can't go wrong with that. I have a ton of these. So this will go in the giveaway box. Next up is the cycle bait. Uh, this one's a Colorado blade, three eighths of an ounce. And this color is black and blue. And I do not have this color. So I would definitely keep this. Uh, definitely a good bait. Uh, and it'll pair really well with that tickle tail. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Next up, we got some uh, Biospawn Exopods, another good trailer, or a Texas rig bait, or a jig trailer. Uh, three and a half inches. The color of this is black and blue flake. Seven pack. Really good bait. Can't go wrong with them. Especially for the price. Next up, we got a Castmaster 
Acme Castmaster half ounce, one twelfth ounce little spoon. Look at that little dude. He'll catch you some fish. All kinds of different kinds of fish. Next up, we have Excite Reflex Swim Jig. This is a quarter ounce. And I'm betting the color is chartreuse and white. Really cool looking little swim jig. Uh, I do not have this one, so I will be keeping that. All right. Now this is a good bait. The packaging is kind of beat up in it, but uh, I don't have this color, but I do have this bait. This is uh, the Yozuri Vibe. Two and five eighths inches long, weighs half an ounce. The color is Prism Sexy Shed. Let's take a look at this dude. I love Yozuri. Uh, Yozuri makes some really, really good baits. You don't have to worry about changing anything out on the hardware. Uh, but yeah, check that dude out. A lot of flash in there. And like I said, their paint jobs are on the inside, so you don't have to worry about them getting scratched up. Uh, but yeah, nice hooks. Really good profile, really good uh, lipless. You know, they come out with those new new ones. So, can't wait to try that. Alright, so next up. Alright, I've been needing this. Uh, this is... Uh, the Guggen Squad Junior Scout. And this one is in Sexy Shed. This is a color that I don't have. I actually think that's the last color I needed. And uh, I wish it was the full size. But three and a half in, uh, feet. It goes three to five feet. Three and a half inches long. And weighs three eighths of an ounce. Beautiful paint job. And it's Guggen Squad, what can you say? Next up, alright. We got another Guggen Squad bait. This one is the Flat Banger. And this is a color I don't have. Cosmo Shed. Check that out. It's a purple and like chartreuse. Uh... Anyways, it dives three to six feet, two and a half inches long, and weighs half an ounce. And, you know, during the fall and winter time, flat sided crankbaits work really well. And last but not least, this is really cool. I've had one of these before, and I've actually used it, and it worked out really well. These are, uh, perfection lures and it's a uh, Nico rig they're Nico, Nico rigs six inch worm they're already pre-rigged they already got the weights built into them they've already got metal bands on them and it comes with two hooks but I mean it shows you uh, what well, it shows you on the front it already comes pre-rigged Really cool. They started doing this with a lot of their baits. They uh, do it with a bunch of their Ned rigs and stuff. So you can buy it and they already come rigged and ready to go. So that's pretty cool. This one I'm assuming is going to be bubble gum. They don't say what the color is. But yeah. So anyways that one is that. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the next box but anyways I think this one is the uh, the bundle the the mystery box that you get for free after you spend 50 bucks or more that was definitely the mega mystery box so let's see about this one because this one feels just as packed as that one was Alright, so 
first up, right off the bat, we get some uh, net bait mad taka uh, and black and blue flake. All right, so I don't have any of these, but these are made from net bait, so they're gonna be a good bait. Let's look at these dudes. This is the mad paca. It's a brush hog style creature bait. And so yeah, pretty cool. You can do a lot of things that with this. I mean, you can trim this down and make it look more like the crawfish if you wanted to. But this is their take on a brush hog. Uh, pretty cool. I do not have any of them, so uh, can't go wrong there. Anytime you get something that you don't have, that's a good idea. And it says made in the USA. And I know that they partnered with bait fuel, so a lot of their bait, newer baits, will be infused with bait fuel. Next up, we have some big bite baits, uh, trick sticks, five inch trick sticks. These are in pearl silver flake. Uh, oh wow, this one ain't sealed, so we'll look at it. This is a color I definitely don't have. Uh, not sure about this. I've never really used a pearl uh, trick stick or any kind of stick bait that's like that. Uh, or white or bubble gum. A lot of people say it works really well. Uh, I know when I'm fishing a lot, I see them on the banks and stuff, especially the bubble gum. Uh, trick worms and, sh and stuff like that, but uh, let me know, do y'all fish with pearl and white stick worms if you do, or do you have good luck on it? Because that might be something I need to try. I don't have that, so I'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, okay, so we're getting some more net baits. This is a good one. This is I've got the little versions of these, but this is uh, the five inch big spanky in black and blue fit like uh, the little spanky works really well it's just like the reaction innovations uh, little dipper and I guess this one would be like their big dipper but anyways really good bait you can use this in a multitude of ways I mean can't go wrong with it and uh like i said i don't have none of these i've got the little spankies uh so that's nice seven count they're full packs i am liking that these are all full packs all right now we got some uh smart bait color changing lures uh these look to be like some kind of a mess worm or a trick worm all right, so this one's like a green pumpkin or a watermelon red. That's watermelon red, isn't it? Yeah, that's a watermelon red flake. That don't give you the color on the package, but anyways, it changes to a different color depending on the water. Uh, but anyways, there's that. Uh, now some of them baits on the back of there look really cool. I ain't ever gotten any of them. I always get like their little swim baits or worms or something like that. Alright, now we got some Biowa baits. These are always nice. These are armored crawls. Uh, it seems like I've gotten these before. But they wasn't this big. They were smaller. But anyways, the armored crawl. Maybe I didn't get these. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to look and see. But I know I don't have this color. This color is Biowa Blast. Uh, I do know this is, you know, a Japanese company that makes these. So they're expensive, and they're really well made. I mean, that's a pretty cool, it's a durable 
uh, plastic and the name brand. I've fished quite a bit and I'm familiar with them. Uh, and they make good baits. Uh, those are four inches and that's a full pack. I think there's how many in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, now we got a hard bait. Alright, so this is cool. Uh, I've been wanting this bait. I've been seeing a lot of people get this bait. But it's a little spy bait. This is uh, the Shinobi Shed. And this one's in Sunburst. And... This is a little dude. I don't know if everybody else's is this little, look, this little, but I mean, this little dude is little. I don't know, maybe you get them in different sizes or something, but that is a little bitty guy. A little bitty old spy bait, and these work really good this time of the year. Just throw it out there and let it sink a little bit and reel it through the water. Uh got VMC hooks. Everybody knows Jenko. They make good boats. I didn't realize that that Shinobi shed was that small. I mean that thing's no bigger than my pinky. That is really really cool. I might have to buy some buy some of them. Next up we got I've gotten this a couple of times uh, in the same color. I wish they'd send me a different color, but this is uh, the optimum swim baits. And I tell you what, these are really, really, really good baits. They just tear up really easily. So it's actually pretty good that I've gotten them. Good color, uh, three and a half inches long, and. But like I said, you catch two or three fish on this thing and it tears up. And then I just take the hook and keep it, put it on a different bait. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I wish I'd just send them in a different color. That would have been cool. But anyways, that'll help. And then, okay, okay. We got something else that I ain't ever gotten before. This right here is the Yozuri Shad. SB uh, two and three fourth inches long and weighs three eighths of an ounce. The color is Prism Crawfish and it goes down to six feet max. Look at this dude. I ain't, I ain't, I didn't even know they made these because I ain't ever seen them. I might have to look into getting some of these. I like stuff. I like little baits like this. Look at that dude. I wish they'd have sent it to me, especially this time of the year, in like a uh, sexy shed or some kind of shad color. But that red, I mean, you can see it right there. That red is really red, red. Uh, they don't play around. But, you know, late winter time, you can actually. Red is a really good color to use. Late winter, early fall, I mean, early spring, they'll hit that red color. So, anyways, that is it, y'all. That is the box. That is everything that we got. That is $150 worth of value for 50 bucks. So let me know what y'all thought about this box. I actually thought it was really good. I think they threw a, a really good variety of everything in there. And I got some stuff that I ain't ever used. Definitely be fishing this out. I'm gonna have to try this little bad boy. Uh, so anyways, let me know what y'all think. Uh, was this worth 50 bucks? I don't know. Also, comment in there, do y'all want me to go back and buy the six bundle? If y'all do, I'll order it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. As always, hit that thumbs up. 
Let's get this channel growing. Let's get up to 700. That way I can do a giveaway again. Uh, anyways, I'll see y'all on the next one.